Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create the Flower of Life in Affinity Designer. The Flower of Life is an important symbol in sacred geometry. It represents the unity of all life and the interconnectedness of all beings. So first we go to File New and we create a new document. And we give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we go to View Guides. And we are going to add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the document. And then we go here to Snapping. We make sure that Snapping is enabled, as well as Tap to Guide. And these five elements here. And then we can start drawing the figure. We go here to the Ellipse tool. We set the fill to None, the Stroke to Black, and the Width to Two Points. And then we we'll go ahead and we draw a circle and we give it 400 by 400 pixels in dimensions. And then we take the move tool and we center it to the middle of the composition. And then we are going to start drawing the other circles. So we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the circle. And then we move it so that its left extremity matches the center of the first circle. And then we are going to start duplicating this second circle. So first we go here to enable transform origin. And we set the rotation center right in the middle of the composition. And then we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. And here we click on duplicate. And we set the numbers of copy to 5 as we need 6 overall. So 5 plus the original one equals 6. And here at rotation we set it to 60 degrees and it creates the first round of circles and we click on OK. And now we are going to create a second round of circles so we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the first circle again and this duplicated circle we position it right here so it should snap normally and then we are going to do the same thing so we put its rotation center right in the middle of the composition and we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate, numbers of copy 5. And here rotation 60 degrees. And this creates the second round of circles and we click on OK. And now the next step is that we are going to keep only the first circle and the partial circles that goes in it and remove all the rest of the figure. So we do it by pressing on Ctrl A to select all the elements of the figure. And we take the Shape Builder tool, we set the action to minus, and then we remove all the elements that are outside of the first circle. And then we remove also the small points here. And then if we zoom in, there are also some small lines here that are remaining outside of the circle. So we are going to remove them too. Alright, so then now we take the move tool. So this is the pattern that we are going to use to create the rest of the figure. So we press on Ctrl G to group all the elements into one group. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we move it. So that its left extremity matches the center of the first circle. And then we press on Ctrl J again to have a third group. And then we select the two groups on the right. And we press on Ctrl J to duplicate them. And then we move them to the left. Like this. Until they are positioned like this. So now we have the first line of elements. And we are going to create the other lines. So we select four of the groups of elements to create the second line. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then we move it until it is positioned right here. So we have the second line. 
and then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it again and reposition it on the other side like this. So we have the third line. And then we select three of the groups of elements and then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate them and we position it right here and we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it again and we position it here. So now we have the basic figure. What we need to do is to rotate it. So we press on Ctrl A to select all the elements of the figure. And here in the transform panel, we set the rotation angle to 90 degrees. So now we have the figure that is in place. So the last step is that we need to create the two circles that go around it. So we take the ellipse tool again. We set the center in the middle of the figure and while pressing Ctrl and Shift, we expand it until the ellipse match the outer extremity of the figure. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate this circle. And then with the move tool and while pressing Ctrl and Shift again, we expand it until we have a second circle. Alright, so now we've completed the figure. You'll learn how to create the flower of life in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!